My name is Mishka. I'm 35. I'm a writer. I live in Greenpoint. This is my world, yo. You may notice the uh, the gorgeous cracking paint, the antique distressed finish. This installation we call <laughs> the Hall of Shame or uh, Fire Hazard Alley. This is my deluxe abode. The good ship, the Pirate Queen. I built this out of wood that I found on the street. Must be at least 18 years old to ride this ride. That's a uh, uh, an oil painting of uh, from the 17th century of my father. It's my real father. One of a kind, vintage, antique, neoclassic uh, Mexican wrestling mask, uh, night lamp, autographed eight by 10 from Dick Dale, King of the Surf Guitar. That's my mother in the painting, my real mother. This doesn't strike me as a lot of guitars, but I don't know. Some people say it's too much. Some of them have minor issues that, um, you know, they don't play as well as they could yet. This is where the magic happens. Or this is where some of the magic happens. Sometimes. I fix problem guitars before I release them back into the wild. That's my uh, my spirit animal, Slash, from GNR on the wall. I love you, Slash. You're number one, baby. So yeah, this is my view. The gorgeous and scenic Brooklyn Queens Expressway. Um, on the far side, you might be able to see the plumbing supply store and the Greenpoint Fish Factory. This is my shelf of crap. This is all stuff that I've picked up in my travels. I did the moth, the uh, competitive storytelling, and I got to... Uh, I got, I got to tell my stupid story in front of a thousand people uh, about how I got shipwrecked. In 2001, I got shipwrecked and it got rescued by the Coast Guard and all that stuff. Spring of last year, I published a story about getting shipwrecked uh, through Amazon, which ended up being a huge hit, enough that I was able to quit my job at the bar. And I mean, I was like, this is a fluke. It's never going to happen again. And then my next story sold three times as much. And now I'm a writer. Um, and it's awesome. This is a picture of the, the ship that I was crewing on when we, we ran aground. This is a picture of my old man when he was a kid. Guess uh, being handsome runs in the family, huh? Here's a picture of my mom uh, rocking some, uh, some early to mid 90s uh, hairstyle. This is a picture of me when, <laughs> right after getting a black eye. <laughs> nice candid shot of the, the morning after. Oh well. I'm an alcoholic. I drank really hard for almost 20 years. And, uh, and then three years ago, I finally just had enough and I stopped and I haven't had a drink since. And when I stopped drinking, I started running. So these are some of the medals that I racked up uh, when I was, you know, when I started running. Cape Cod Marathon, uh, Marathon in Virginia, Peaks Ultra Marathon, 53 miles, two New York City marathons, and this is the uh, Stone Mill 50 miler. Uh, it was, ended up being 55 miles but they didn't charge us extra for those, uh, those bonus miles. One of the stories I wrote for Amazon last year was about totally screwing my life up and then slowly and very methodically uh, unscrewing it up and you know quitting drinking and starting running. And uh, it's funny because my editor was like, you have to write this story. And I was like, nobody want, is gonna wanna read this. And like 65,000 people proved me wrong. Oh, someone's a cocky bastard. Shut up. <laughs> uh, this is my favorite base. This is a base that I built out of a bunch of uh, old parts. It's uh, Nexa 1977, just like me. Old 60s body. The way that you can tell a guitar that I've built is that they're awesome. And there's always something wrong with it. And it's always not quite finished. I've been playing music for almost 30 years now, and it's a huge part of my life. I play bass in a band called Fresh Kills. We just got back from tour to South by Southwest in Austin. We had the drummer for Nick Cave uh, produce our last record and join us on drums. Uh, I have a solo record that I'm actually working on finishing up right now with some friends. It's a bunch of my old drinking songs that now I have an uneasy relationship with, and the record's just gonna be called I Can't Drink. This is my awesome ride, 2001 Dodge Neon. It's like talking people out of like liking me. This will all be removed one day. This is all going to get, like today, right now, I'm about to do it. Get in the car, man, come on, quit fucking around. Yes, I would love to 
have a girlfriend. Um, I mean, everybody loves love. I feel like a lot of my relationships have failed because my mind was elsewhere. I was more infatuated with with playing music and being on the road and getting wasted than I was in investing time and effort and energy into a relationship with another person. I would love to meet a girl who doesn't have to, she doesn't have to be the same as I am, but has to be okay with me caring a lot more about guitars and bands and friendly dogs than, uh, than, the, than the stock market. You know, I think girls who are too obsessed with material wealth are sort of missing the point. It's hard to find somebody who's cool with all the places that I've been and also where I am now. I'm, I'm far more excited now about going home with one girl ten times than I am about going home with ten girls one time. I mean, if it's ten girls ten times, well... <laughs> So I'm getting rid of some of my guitars, and I got the guys at Main Drag in Brooklyn to help me out. That's mine. 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 All mine. This is my friend Tracy. <laughs> Been a, a good friend for a long time and definitely helped me get my shit together. And I like to hurt him, so it's a good team. <laughs> we are, we make a good team. On your toes, on your toes. Tap, 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 tap. Nice, good step. That's where we're Five, four, three, two, back on and ten, ten, ten. Yes, see? Awesome. Turn it over, turn it over. Hip over. Move around the back, not the same combination. Let's go. One, two. Fifteen seconds, go. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, five, one, <laughs> two, <laughs> three, go. <laughs> Drop your butt, okay? Drop your butt, come on. I'll tell you what we're doing now, come on. Hands up, hands up, hands up. Good, land soft knees, land on soft knees. Two more. Five, six. The idea that anybody would find love on a TV show is just preposterous. It's totally ridiculous. Somebody's got to win the lottery. You know, some, some, somebody does win the lottery. That's why, that's why everybody plays.